Hello, you may well have watched my other meditation where we link to everyone on the planet and we link the planet to the galaxies and to the universe. If you haven't watched it, then please do so when you can. What I'd like to do this time is to do a meditation and an exercise on linking to ourselves to our own higher self, our soul, whatever you want to call it. And this is something that is very rarely done by people, consciously, and yet we're doing it all the time. If you've had that sudden light bulb moment, the intuitive thought, maybe you ought to ring somebody and they ring you at that moment or some other connection like that. This is usually our higher self, our guide, or whatever you may want to call it, that inner knowing, contacting us and talking to us with our thoughts, sometimes our words, sometimes people see or hear things. And also our dreams. This is another way that we are connected to that other dimension of ourselves. But how to do it more consciously and how to do it to help other people as well. I've been thinking about the symbol of the heart that we created in the other meditation and I think much the same can be used now as an anchor but also to indicate to other people that that's what we're thinking, we're sending them love by simply using the symbol of the heart which we can generate very quickly and it's more difficult for me to do it the right way up now so we can create a heart and then show to other people this is our heart, this is what we're thinking, we're sending love or you may want to do it the other way up looking at yourself in a heart like this and <laughs> this is a little bit of fun at the moment and. Uh, when I look at it this way myself, I can see a heart. And perhaps if I do that, then I'm thinking to myself, here is my heart, as I'm seeing my heart. So somebody outside is seeing my offering to them, my love. But when I look at the heart that way, I'm looking at my own heart, my own higher heart, my own love, maybe my love of myself. How many people truly love themselves? Nobody is perfect, we know that. But do you beat yourself up all the time? Or do you think yourself to yourself, that's how I want to be. That's me, that's my confident self. If you beat yourself up, just remember that every thought that you have about yourself or about others reflects back onto you. So if you think that something bad is going to happen to you, guess what? Before long, your thoughts are so powerful, you'll actually make it happen. And if you constantly think about obstacles on your path, I can't do so and so because someone doesn't like it, or you might think it's too difficult, or you don't understand it. A lot of people struggle with working computers. Before they've even pressed a button, they think to themselves, I don't know how to do this. And of course, when you tell yourself things like that, guess what? You're telling yourself that you don't know how to do it. And you're putting up barriers before they've even happened. I remember once being in a workshop and the facilitator said to the whole group, there's about 30 of us there, who do you think is the strongest person in this room? And they chose me. And then she said, who do you think is the weakest man in this room? And they chose a lovely man who was graceful, did Tai Chi, and he was not as strong as I was. 
She then said to him, I want you to go through that door. And she said to me, stop him. Well, it was easy. <sighs> very, very easy to stop him. No effort at all. I just put my hand on him and he couldn't move. Not an inch. And after a while, when it was quite obvious that he wasn't going to get anywhere, she then took him to one side, whispered something in his ear, and we tried again. This time, it was completely and utterly different for me. He was wriggling and writhing and making his way through the door, through me, past me, trying to get the door to the door. And in the end, she had to stop it. I was trying everything I could to try and stop him, and I couldn't. She asked around the room, what do you think she'd whispered to him? And nobody had got the answer. But the answer was very simple when she told us, or when he told us what she told him. She said to him, see that picture through the door? I want you to concentrate on that picture and go and get it for me. Think of nothing else, stare at nothing else except that picture and just go and get it. So when he concentrated on what he wanted to do, where he wanted to go, what the objective was, the obstacle, which is me, just vanished. And this, if we could do it in our true lives, and we could do this all the time, looking at where we want to go, then obstacles vanish. And obstacles vanish much, much faster when you use our true selves, our higher selves, to do this. And what I'm suggesting, and we'll do this with a little meditation now, is that when you want to link to your higher self, then you ask to link to your higher self. In other words, you say to somebody, I'm going to call you at such and such a time, and you think, pick up the phone and you ring them. They're expecting you to call, and you're both expecting to have a conversation, and you're prepared for each other. Things in these other dimensions work instantly, as we've discussed before. So when you want to link to your higher self, just think, I'm going to link to my higher self. And then, if you want some sort of tool to help yourself, make the little heart, look at the heart, and think, that is me, that's my true self, that's my love, that's my self, that's me. Put it down, and then start your little meditation. And let's do that together now. So firstly, just make yourself comfortable. If you prefer to sit, sit, otherwise lie down. And we'll do this as though you're lying down, because initially that's more relaxing for many people. Lie down, take a deep breath. Let go. Let go of everything that might be troubling you. Relax on the floor. Feeling your legs getting heavier and heavier. Put your arms out to one side with their palms racing upwards and notice how heavy they're starting to get. Your whole body just sinking or feeling like it's sinking into the carpet or wherever you're lying. And just as you feel cosy and warm, imagining a nice warm glow of light and love enveloping you to make you feel protected and cosy. And know that whatever happens, wherever you go, my voice will go with you and you can return here whenever you need to. Now, if you haven't already done so, 
shut your eyes and now look at the heart in your mind look at that heart you created knowing that that heart is going to be the key to the door to your higher self there actually is no key there's no door there's no lock that excess is always there, it's instant. But as we tend to block things out, perhaps in our mind's eye, we need a key. That key to your heart, to your love, your love of yourself, your higher self, everything that you want, everything you desire, is there by opening the door. So if you need the key, use the key. And now, what I suggest you start talking. Talking to yourself as though it's your higher self. And initially, you may want to just talk a little bit of gibberish, doesn't really matter. But those who can see me, if they could see me as people normally see me, if I link to this state now, I know that I can now be talking from my higher self which was named for me by a wonderful, wonderful teacher who called me my higher self, Christopher's positive, my positive side, CP for short. So now I can talk from CP. And I can answer questions, questions from myself, or perhaps I can ask, answer questions from you. Maybe you need to know something at some time, if that's the case, answer questions by putting something in the chat box below this video. And I'll try and answer your own question to you directly. Although the, your own higher self knows you much better than my higher self does, even though we're all connected. Sometimes a little confidence is needed. So just have your conversation. Nothing too difficult, nothing world shattering. Just have a conversation. Just as though you would be talking to someone in the car beside you. So, for example, you could say, where should we go today? It's a lovely sunny day. Shall we go to the beach? And the answer would come, yes, let's go to the beach. We can enjoy the sunlight, the beautiful scenery. Walk down into the water with bare feet, walking across the sand, all the stones, and immersing our feet into the water. You can imagine yourself doing this right now. Walk down to the water, put your feet in the water, feel that coolness, and at the same time feeling the sand up through the soles of your feet. 
And now just be aware that you are totally linked to the earth. All negative emotions just draining from you. All the electromagnetic energy fields around us that we absorb, all draining from you. And you're linked to the entire planet. You imagine now that all those molecules of water around your feet are linked to every molecule of water throughout the entire planet. It's all connected to you. And your feet resting on the sand, those molecules of sand are connected to the earth. And those molecules of sand are connected right through the entire planet, through every mountain, through every plant, every rock, right through to the core of the earth. And that's all part of you. Just enjoy that sensation for a little time. Just enjoy being totally linked and grounded to our planet. Having done this, you can do this any time you choose. And maybe grounding yourself like this is something else you could do by creating a heart in your hands and looking at it. You can come back here to this point at any time you choose and just look at your heart and say, I want to be grounded. And you will be, instantly. And that little journey we've just taken together, I didn't know we were going to do that. But the suggestion, shall we go to the beach? The answer came from my higher self to me. Yes, let's. And that's what we did even without actually being at the beach. It was better than being at the beach. So now when you're ready, just bring your back, yourself back to this present moment. Back into your body knowing that you can have a conversation with your higher self whenever you choose. Sometimes it takes practice. Sometimes it helps to write. And by writing, just see what happens and have a conversation through writing. That's how I actually started writing my dreams. Now, be aware that you are where you are. Just wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, stretch out your arms, move your head around. And when you're ready, open your eyes. And welcome back. Thank you for coming and listening. I will have the video posted available from a link below here very shortly. And there will be an audio link as well that you can download.
So you can listen to this on any tool you have. But practice doing it by yourself in whatever way you choose. Many people have different ways of connecting. Doesn't matter how, just do it. Don't let the obstacles get in your way. Just know that you can talk to your higher self. And if you want to share the love with others, make a little heart sign to anyone you see in these days of social distancing. Make heart signs to people. And wouldn't it be wonderful if everyone in the planet made little heart signs to each other with a smile, knowing what we all know now. I look forward to seeing you here again. Bye for now.